Hi, so in this video, I am going to be giving you um, the, uh, some feedback on the, the presentation that you just made. First of all, I just want to say praise the Lord. Thank you so much for working with the Army of Youth. Um, and you did a really good job um, with this slide presentation. Um, I am thankful. Um, you definitely knew how to find the, the template. I see that the template is at the bottom. So that is a real blessing. What I did here is um, what I'm going to do for this video is um, I just made a copy of your presentation. So I'm going to show you how to change some of these things and then um, let you watch this video so that you can uh, make the changes yourself. So that way um, you can learn and grow and have the experience yourself. So um, I hope this video is going to be really helpful. And um, yeah, so one of your questions was that um, what do you do with the background? Like if the background is um, um, too too light, so I realized that in the template slide that the um, what's it called the the first slide the title slide does not have a filter on it. That's what it's called. It's called a filter, um, and s n neither does the section header slide have a filter on it. Um, so what I would do for this is find a um, is find a slide that does have a filter. As you can see, this one does. Um, so I'll I'll just like click the filter and let me see. Oops, not that. Control Z. Um, yeah, so you can see that this is the filter. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, click on the filter and then press Control C to copy it. And then I am going to put it onto um the the background as you, i just press Control v and as you see it's like in front of the words as well so what i'm going to do is press Control. let me see if this works there you go yeah that works um control hit Control, and then the down arrow or you can um right click it and um change it and as you can see this is the this filter is a little bit i would say a little bit too dark um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it the um not transparent okay oops let me see um custom the transparency i'm going i'm just going to change this transparent transparency to a little lower press okay there you go, that looks a lot better. So um, as you can see, the words are popping out a lot more. Um, so that is what I would do for this one. Four secrets to make your devotions irresistibly interesting. You did really good with, um, let me see if this works. Drag myself over here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, okay, so you did really good with having the consist consistent theme. Like uh, number one is has the same background photo and uh, number two does as well so praise the lord i'm really thankful to see that um one thing that i would suggest um i'm not exactly sure what uh template you used but if you scroll down um you'll see like this the section header slide that is a slide that i use for all the section headers so what i would um what I would suggest you do is just press Control D to duplicate it and drag it up. Uh, let me see. Oops. All right. So right here. And what I usually do is I just get this picture, or I guess Control Z. You don't have to do that because you ha already have it here. But what I usually do is get it from the title slide. Um, so I would just um, move this picture over a little bit and then click this so that you have the picture, press Control C, and then just put this thing back, or Control Z, Control Z, there you go. And then I'll put in, I'll delete this one, that's um, uh, another thing, delete the background photo that there is, 
This one's, I think, um, attached to it, so you can't delete it. But, uh, and then press Control V. And then press Control, and then Shift, and then the arrow to like send it to back. Um, or you can right click it and uh, change the order, bring to back. Um, I already did it, I already did that, so I'm just using the hotkeys for that. And then what I would do is, um, because this one doesn't have a filter and it's hard to read too, so that's why we just put um, control C and I put it in the section header. So control A to highlight all, control shift V. There you go. So as you can see, um, so this is like the way I, um, we usually do the section headers. And, but I just want to say, I really, really appreciate the consistency of the, the pictures. That is a real blessing. And also the, the notes. Um, I like the way you identified them, like through, through it, all of them. So I'm going to press control C and put it on this slide. Control A, control shift V. There you go. Oh, now it's all highlighted. Control B. There you go. All right. So that is done. Um, and then... Um, one thing that I haven't mentioned, which um, in the videos that you've watched, so I know this is not your fault, is you don't need to have like the one in front of all of it. The only time that we usually use the one is um, like the, the numbers is if it's like for the, the, the section headers. So like the main points. So one, two. You did a really good job with these, but you don't need to do them um, for the for the other ones, even though they're numbered here, like in the outline. That is um, another thing. So, and then what I do is, since I've already created this one, I'll just uh, press Control D to duplicate it. I'll bring it down to the second the second one, and then I'll do the same thing with this one. So I'll just press uh, Control V. So Control C, um, Control A, Control Shift V. There you go. So now it is um, in the same one. And this this little thing it kind of acts like a filter. So not the whole the whole uh, photo isn't as a filter, but this is like just a tiny filter. That's um, that's the way we usually have it for the section headers. Um, so, and then let me put all this stuff, control, uh, C and put it under here, control shift V. There you go. All right. So now let me do that. Control D again for point number three. I just want to say I'm really thankful to be able to work with you. It it's been such a blessing, and um, and this you did really well with this being your first presentation. Okay, Control C and Control A, Control Shift V. There you go. Oops. Control C. And control shift V. There you go. Um, all right, so that is done. Um, or I think there's one more, but in this video for like the length of it, I'll just um, leave it for that. Um, leave it there. And the next thing that I wanted to show you. Um, this is a quote slide. I first started in Genesis. Um, what you did really good. I really like the background picture. It's a really nice picture. Um, but one thing that you could do is I think there are photos that you can find of Bibles open in the book of Genesis. Um, and oh, I know we have we have photos uh, somewhere. And um, you can 
you did a really good job finding these photos. I am not exactly sure. I think you probably, um, like, what platform you used. If you used um, Unsplash, Unsplash is really, really good. That's, like, my preferred one. <laughs> um, that's always my first choice, anyways. Um, so what you could do for this one is find a Bible photo. Um, you did really good. I... Um, we tend to not use more, okay, how do I say this? <laughs> um, we tend to use more photo slides than quote slides because instead of uh, pe having people read off of a screen all the time, people are very visual. They, they are, a lot of people are very visual learners. And once they see the picture, the pic, the, what they're trying to illustrate really stays in their mind. So that's why I love using illus the illustration slides. Um, so for this one, um, what you could do is use, you know what, let me, let me see if I can find a picture on Unsplash. Unsplash. All right, so here it is. Um, let me see. Uh, Bible open in Genesis. Uh oh, I'm going to have to go charge my phone. Let me see. Sometimes you can find a picture. And if you can't find a picture, what I suggest you do is, well, what I've done in the past is um, I've just found a picture um, or I've just uh, opened my Bible and taken a picture and then uploaded it to um, to the Google Slides. Or what, I, what I've done in the past is I've like sent it to myself on Messenger and then like from Messenger, like copied and pasted it and put it in there, which works as well. Um, sometimes you can find, see like this one says the Gospel of John. If it's a Genesis, it would be um, a, good, a good book or a good photo. Um, let me see. That one says Proverbs. <laughs> we could, we could maybe see if we could find one in here. Um, insert image, search the web. Bible. Oops. Bible open in Genesis. All right, so I found one. Um, I hope it's good quality, though. Some of these photos aren't as good of a quality a lot of times. Yeah, this photo is a pretty good, pretty good photo. Um, so what I would do is get the illustration slide press ctrl d and drag it up to where um and then click this photo press insert all right delete the background photo and then you have this photo in here, but as you can see, it doesn't fit. So I'll, um, I'll make this a little smaller and drag it to the corner like that. Um, I guess it needs to be a little smaller. All right, let me see if this works. Ah. Uh, the rest of it, I'll, I don't like to stretch pictures, so that's why I do this. There you go. And then um, I would just do this, Control C, and press um, delete all this, Control A, Control V. There you go. All right, so you got that one.
um, you got that one done. And for these, um, I am not sure if I suggested this to you already, but um, one, one, um, what's the word? One software that I always use is eSword. Um, maybe we can talk about this later, but uh, I really recommend you using eSword for all of it. I, um, I'm i not sure if I have recommended it, but you did really good with putting the whole Bible verse um, in here. So that is a blessing. The Bible isn't a novel, John 5 verse um, 39. That is really good. I really like I really like the background photo. The background photo really um, illustrates it in a in a really good way. What I would suggest is um, is having the like the writing the same the whole t um, all the time. Um, like I think I saw one that you did over here. Yeah, this one right here. The liberal soul. Um, so like the way this one, I love this one. <laughs> it's really pretty. The liberal soul shall be made fat and he that waters, watereth shall be watered also himself. Um, I really like the background photo. It's, it makes, it makes it so much more vivid, but, um, yeah, anyways, um, you see how the, the scripture is like, like smaller and it is, um, one thing that we usually do is we always have this. Okay, let me see. Where's this? There you go. Like that. Have everything, um, I'm not even sure the word, <laughs> aligned from the center. I think that's the word. Um, so if that, if you would do that for the, for the Bible verse, that would be a blessing. Um, so let me see if I can try this. Uh, A line there you go and then so now we have that what we could do is make this a little wider what I usually do is I um, use the template okay let me see there you go search the scriptures and then I'll make this text smaller again um, you could do that or press um, control shift. There you go. All right. So, and you could probably like, I change this size of this text depends on, oops, control shift. <laughs> there you go. Depends on how big the word are. Um, you could even probably do them a little bigger than that. You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. No, can uh, enter. How loving and patient he must be. All right, yeah. So you did really good. Um, the speaker notes, uh, what I usually do is I have the this like I like the way you have the whole thing in there like the Bible isn't a novel John 5 verse 39 and then search the scriptures what I would do is just change the order um, of this control V and then enter because that's the point that you're trying to bring out the Bible isn't a novel um, and then um, we like to keep the speaker notes as simple as we can, but yet um, have like all the information. So in there, so, um, all right. So for this photo, um, I would just do the same thing. Let me see, center it. There you go and then make this a little smaller. All right, there you go. 
and then do the same thing with this. Control X, Control V, Enter. Oops, Control Z. Uh, what did I do? Okay. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Um, the the way E sort is to oh <laughs> now I know what I did. The three is not supposed to be there. There you go. Um, is it always has this scripture in front of it? Control X, Control V. All right. That's the way eSword e -sword is. And um, the reason why I really like eSword is because it is so consistent. Um, it's very consistent all the time. And this is just a duplicate, so I'll just delete that. Um, truth. Uh, okay, there you go. All right, so I did that already. Um, now for this one. Yeah, I think I told you about, like, um, the quotes. Um, these numbers. I would just delete the number. Um, okay, this quote says, It's easy to be motivated when your studies are irresistibly relevant. The word of life. Um, what I mentioned to you earlier is, um, using like unless it's a really um how do i say this like we don't want to have too many quote quote cards or like quotes in the slide presentation because we are people aren't reading it we are um like off the screen and sometimes if if there's too many words um on a screen that people shift their focus to the to the words of the screen instead of the speaker. So um, what you could do is um, have this picture, like just keep this picture and just um, use it as like an illustration slide. It is easier to be motivated when your studies are irresistibly relevant. Um, um, and just keep it keep it like that. And this one, this scripture slide, I, um, I would just do the same thing. There you go. You did a really good job with the background photos. Um, I really like the background photos that you added to it. Hi, Armon. Hi. All right. Study what is relevant. Um, and the goal for 21 days. I'm not exactly sure what's the context of it. Goals 21 days. You know, let me look up the um, sloppy list slide. Oh, and you did really good with copying and pasting it to the sloppy list slide. Um, that is really good. Sometimes I don't use this, uh, put this in there just because it's a little bit of extra. Um, oops. Control Z. There you go. Uh, goal is 21 days. Um, let me see. Right here. Um, and again, with this picture, it's the same way. I would just put the the quote. Oops. I'm like, it looks like this filter is very dark. So um, we can like custom it and make it a little more transparent. Okay. There you go. That's better. And then um, you can just um, have this as an illustration. Oh, I do the same thing again. Have this as an illustration slide instead of um, like having the quote on here. So 
Um, yeah. So what you could do, I mean, you could use the illustration um, slide right here, or you can just like delete these words. Delete these words, uh, delete this, and probably delete this too. But usually I don't do that. I mean, I just, um, and you could actually remove the filter as well. But you can just like use the illustration slide that way. You don't have to do all that, but just, um, just get the, oops, get the picture uh, because, um, the, I love how the picture illustrates like exactly what you're going through. Um, so that is really done. Oops. All right. I'm going to have to get my uh, plug my phone. Um, all right. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, that was that was really good. So I guess that wouldn't be a quote slide anymore then. Um, there you go. And for the goals, the twenty one days, I really like the picture. That really like um, illustrates the point. You could uh, um, do that. Or you could make this as an illustration slide as well. For some reason, I like using illustration slides. And a lot of times, if there's um, like, hmm, you did really good with this one. I love it. Um, what I would do now is just like um, put like this one is a Facebook quote slide. So I would just put like Facebook quote slide on here and then um put like the quote on there no matter how many goals you have achieved you have achieved you must set your sights on a higher one you must set your sights on a higher one. There you go. That way, that way he can see the quote, um, and it's in the speaker notes as well. So that's what I would suggest you do for the for the Facebook quote slide. Yeah, it's the Facebook quote slide. Um, so this is that one. What I would suggest, like once you have all these, um, all these points, what I would suggest you do is honestly, I do this all the time too, like when I'm uh, creating the slide presentation, but like once it, once the, I've created all these slides, I like to delete this. So it, the speaker notes don't look too crowded. We don't want to have too many extra things on the, um, on the speaker notes. Um, so that's what I would suggest you do for that. Um, once you've created them. 28 and 29. Yeah. So, um, I know I've used the, I'm not exactly sure what app you use for this one, like Luke 14 verse 28 and 29. Um, that's, this is why I like using eSword. And I know I've used this Bible app too before, or um, I've like Googled it online. I think it's Bible Hub or something like that, but I'm not quite sure. Um, so I always use eSword. eSword is like one of the best. Um, I would say it's the best. I've had I've had other ones. Um, and on a PC, yeah, on your laptop, it's free. So that's one thing that I really like about it. Um, Luke 14, 28 and 29. But I mean, if you don't have a different, if you can't get this, it still, it still works. Verse 28. Let me put that in there. What I usually do is I just copy and paste it like this. 
Control C. Control Shift V. And um, like if you if you have to use this, what I would suggest you do is uh, press like Control Shift V so that the formatting is the same, and then just put like the Luke fourteen verse like 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 this Luke. Oops. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, oh, because this writing is smaller. Okay, let me see. Luke, um, fourteen verse twenty-eight, and then for this one, I would do the same thing. Luke fourteen verse twenty-nine. All right, like that. <sighs> Mosquito. <laughs> All right. So you could do that. And what you can do is just, uh... okay, so this is Arial. Arial. There you go. And that works as well, too. That way, the it's more consistent. And it looks like this same, like size wise. I'm not exactly sure what size this is. Size 11. Um, so I could just do, highlight this and put in 11. There you go. So that works too, but it's just a little bit more work. Um, but I mean, the size doesn't have to be exactly like it's 11 everywhere, but I like to keep things consistent. Um, so that is a suggestion. Okay, and then I'll do Control X again, delete, delete, and then just put here. Here you go. Count the cost. Uh, you did really good with the the lookup first slide. Um, and I like how, like, you've illustrated it. Wow, you're really good at finding pictures better than me. <laughs> oh, I'm so thankful um, for this experience. Um, like, one thing that you can do if this, is, if this like, um, the background doesn't look this, or you can change, like, where you put the Luke um, but I like the way, uh, where you put it, or if you, if it, like it clashes too much, you could put a filter on here or you can change this to, let me see, where is this to black, but black doesn't really work either. So I'll just press control Z that looks a lot better. So you could put a slight filter on here or you can just leave it, um, like if you are having a hard time seeing um, seeing the letters, that means like the people on the screen are gonna have a really hard time um, seeing it. But th I think this is fine. First page in your personal encyclopedia. Um, yeah, I would do this as an illustration slide as well. Um, Five life-changing journals. Let me see. Yeah, um, some of these I would do as illustration slides. These two probably, and then this Number four is questions to ask. Make a page called things to study. Um, all right, I got the mosquito. <laughs> um, all right, so um, you could just like have this as an illustration slide as well. Um, uh, 
Oh, and for this one, we have like the seven areas of life you should be planning for. Um, you probably don't know what the seven areas of life are, but um, once you, uh, we have a video on the seven areas of life and our next live cast that we are doing is going to be on the seven areas of life. So that's gonna be a blessing um, as well. So we have already created some slides on the seven areas of life, um, which we could put the seven area, like the, uh, all the slides, like just mentioning all the seven areas of life that you should be planning for. We could put that in here, but um, maybe that, um, Um, you could probably leave that for now. I'll, and, um, all right. So this is again, make a sloppy list. So again, for these, I would just use the section header slide or like, um, because they have the, the small filter across, across it. Um, All my students have this list and consult consult before studying. Some of these slides, like if you don't exactly know what to um, like what to put for them, you can you can put them underneath. Like have two things in this slide, so it's not like um, that's what I've done in the past too. Like if you're not quite sure, and um, it's something that he can just mention, like underneath like when he's um, on one of these slides. Um, consult before studying could probably be put like underneath there as well. All right, so I think that is it for this video. I hope um, I hope you've enjoyed it and um, thank you so much for working with the Army View.